Since I can remember, Papua New Guinea has called to me. So far away, so wild, so rarely visited. You can imagine how exciting it is to get my very first glimpse of the country out the airplane window. In the capital city of Port Moresby, our group's invited to lunch with the U.S. Ambassador to PNG, Catherine Ebert Gray. Then it's another flight north to the city of Ley, followed by a glorious chopper ride to the cloud forest which is a high elevation rainforest. Like an eagle, we soar over the lush mountains, marveling at a land that time has forgotten. The villagers greet us with song and dance, wearing elaborate costumes made from moss, leaves, and ferns. Each visitor is welcomed with a bilam a handmade bag carried by young and old in PNG. A few precious fruits are tucked inside of mine. It's a dream come true, waiting for a long time to be here. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. The travelers include tree kangaroo scientist Lisa Daybeck, Woodland Park Zoo CEO Alejandro Grijal, wildlife veterinarian Carol Essen from Cairns, Australia, and videographers extraordinaire Joe and Nim Pontecorvo. So how in the world do I describe my first step into the rainforest? Walking from the clearing into dense greenness, I am totally unprepared for the feeling that comes over me. It is a welcoming, a feeling of coming home. Deep wisdom here, gentle and ancient. Words simply can't express it. 10,000 feet up, we settle into camp. The toilet is a hole in the ground up a slippery mud hill. Every meal, greens and rice. It's very chilly. We wear long undies and down parkas, but by contrast, the locals scramble around in their meager clothing, many barefoot. But at sundown, the trackers gather around their cozy communal fire one night clamoring to see Alejandro's bird book. Well, you say, what about this black one here? No. Another evening, sharing their songs. <laughs> Trekking through this dense, spongy bottom forest is not easy. The steep terrain is chock full of sinkholes, tangly vines, and fallen trees. But the payoff is seeing a Huon tree kangaroo in the wild. High up in the trees, they're perfectly camouflaged in the moss and leaves. During a capture, I am allowed to gently touch one, their beautiful fur soft as mink. A new baby is discovered growing in this female's pouch. Lisa decides to name it Mara, after my daughter who passed away several years ago. I know Mara's smiling. Nature has clearly had a field day in Papua New Guinea. The creatures here, exotic and wondrous. Earlier in our trip, I get to hold an adorable baby echidna, one of only two mammals in the world that lays eggs. At a wildlife park, we see the spotted cuscus and crazy colorful birds of all kinds, such as the rare bird of paradise and the large and powerful cassowary. And the people of Papua New Guinea? They thrive in tight communities, in tidy thatched huts. The villagers, friendly, generous, and resourceful. It did take some getting used to the fact, though, that everyone carries a machete, even the toddlers. But what I love the most is their wonderful sense of humor. One young fellow in particular steals my heart, Gibson. He becomes my little shadow. We don't have to talk much, we just hang out and he smiles a lot. Gibson lives in the village of Yawan, but it should be called Paradise. Just look around here. We 
wrap up our trip exploring PNG's underwater wonderland. The country is a world-renowned diving destination with its warm, clear waters and abundant marine life. Off the island of New Britain are spectacular varieties of corals and fishes. These cute little clownfish are my favorites. The big highlight though, a dolphin show. They appear out of nowhere to chase our dive boat. Then we humans join them. Clinging to a boom, we glide along the surface, playfully accompanied by our new friends. In three weeks, I've made enough memories in Papua New Guinea to last a lifetime. Yet, as I turn towards home, I'm already yearning for the day of return. It would take several lifetimes to experience all that Papua New Guinea has to offer. May wise stewardship preserve this magical place for generations to come. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.